My name is Ryan Cross. Uh, I graduated from BU from the Science Journalism Master's program in 2016. A few years ago, I was actually in grad school to become a scientist to do research uh, in a PhD program, and I was looking for something else to do because I realized I didn't want to uh, be sitting in front of the lab bench my whole life, but I loved science. and. Uh, somewhere I saw an advertisement for the, the BU Science Journalism program and it talked about um, you know, writing about science and explaining the scientific process and new research to people um, in, in a way that the you know, non-scientists can understand. Um, and that just really appealed to me. That's something I've always sort of wanted to do long term anyway. Um, and that program helped me fast track that goal. The, the courses were really great, and we had all kinds of you know fantastic guest speakers, uh, journalists from uh, you know Nat Geo or, or the Atlantic, you know that would would speak to us, you know either in person or you know over Skype about uh, the work that they do, and that was really helpful um, for someone who was coming into this, uh, not even having a clue that I wanted to do journalism a few months prior to <laughs> applying to the program. So it was really good to get that, um, that sort of real life advice from journalists who've actually been doing this for a long time. Um, and I think the other big thing that I really loved about the program was that uh, an internship is required. It's sort of set up at the end uh, of your program after your classes. So I was sort of, uh, you know, in a way guaranteed to be, uh, to get some help from my professors in terms of finding that first place I was going to go after school. Uh, so currently I write about the uh, science and business of uh, the biotech and pharma industry um, here in Boston and worldwide. Um, I write, write for a magazine called Chemical and Engineering News, uh, or CNEN for short, or a magazine that's uh, primarily for chemists, but also anyone that likes chemistry and is a member of the American Chemical Society. So uh, it's a really fun place to work because I get to write about a lot of you know, really interesting and sometimes obscure topics, but I get to write about them in a way that is you know, sort of more fun and accessible to read for just anyone who's interested in science. For somebody who um, has that sort of unusual love of, of two usually pretty different things, you know, one being science and the other being writing. Um, if you know, you're one of those oddballs like me who sort of fits into that group of people that loves both those things, and I can't imagine a better job, and uh, it's, you know, sort of a small field and a hard field to break into, and I, I think that, uh, you know, going to BU for that master's really helped.